Hey everybody. Today I'm going to discuss some things about Windows 8.1. More or less upgrading to it from Windows 8. You know, I've, I've seen so many computers brought in for service. Even, you know, in September 2014 that are still running Windows 8. Not an 8.1, but Windows 8. And this amazes me that there's so many computers still out there that, that are still running the Windows 8. You know, lacking the start button and, you know, just having, you know, harder to use number and there's so many different things so basically to get one as 8.1 you would go to your start screen click on the store tile and click on the big large tile that says upgrade to Windows 8.1 for free and follow the directions and once it installs it and it asks you to sign to a Microsoft account if you already if you don't have one just put in some bogus email and password and click you know sign in and when it fails say sign in with a local you know you sign in with that Microsoft account and so on and so forth but there's also a second update alongside Windows 8.1 it's called Windows 8.1 update 1 now I just installed the Windows 8.1 update on this computer here but it does not have Windows 8.1 update 1 the easiest way to tell this is to look at your start screen now you may notice that there's no really small tiles here that's because this is actually an upgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1. But if you notice, we're missing some stuff here. In Windows 8.1 update, when you actually have a power button here. Now, commonly, when you know with Windows 8 and in earlier 8.1, just to shut down and restart, you have to do this. You have to go to Charms. Let's <laughs> see, Settings, Power, and then there are your options there. But anyways, in um, Windows 8.1 Update 1, there's actually a power button right up here. Now another thing you'll notice about Windows 8.1 Update 1 is that when that's installed, it automatically boots the desktop. Now Windows 8.1, that was brought in as an optional feature, but Windows 8.1 Update 1, that was actually turned on by default. Another thing is if you don't have Windows 8.1 Update 1, you'll see this hand appear when the cursor is up at the top of the screen. That's so uh, basically you can pull down your apps like this to close them. Like for example, I'll do, I'll do the weather app. Don't care if it loads or not. So anyways, you, to, you actually have to pull down you know, and do all that mess. And here's these dumb little tutorial things. So basically what you do is go to control panel and go to Windows Update to get this. And there's some other things that this update brings. For example, the full screen apps, you can you can simply close them by clicking an X. That's definitely a nice thing. And a lot of times the taskbar will stay active even inside the start screen or when you're in the apps. So anyways, it's funny, it says no updates are available. It always says this right to install Windows 8.1 uh, um, to your system. You always have to go check for updates. And we're just going to let it run check for updates. And see, after checking for updates, it says we have 50 important updates available. And one optional. The optional is an audio driver. Okay, everybody, I had to install it twice before it would show the one that does the update for Windows 8.1. It's called the Windows 8.1 update for x64 based systems if you're on 64 bit. Otherwise, it'll be called just Windows 8.1 update. And it's the KB2919355 update. And here you can see it says eight, Windows 8.1 update is a cumulative set of security updates, critical updates, and updates. You must install Windows 8.1 update to ensure that your computer continues to receive future up Windows updates, including security updates. For a complete listing of issues that are included in this update, you know, blah blah, see the knowledge base. You know, it's funny they don't even mention here about the um, UI improvements, it's, you know, <laughs> make you think it's like a security update or something. But yeah, it's definitely the Windows 8.1 update for x 64 based systems in this case. KB2919355. Let's go ahead and install it along with these other two updates. And then you'll finally get to see what it does.
Hey everybody, the Windows 8.1 Update 1 is officially installed and the biggest difference you'll see is the fact that when you log into Windows it'll automatically go to the desktop. It's now enabled by default. Also, when you move your mouse cursor to the very top it does not turn into a hand. However, the charms are still there and if you actually do click and pull it will still do the same thing as before except you don't get the hand anymore up here another thing when you go to start the task bar will still remain when you're you know when you got the mouse at the bottom it goes into um, auto hide now for example let's say we go to one store you will also notice how we have, you know, a title bar and minimizing close buttons. And of course that auto also auto hides. So this way you can just simply close out of apps. And now when you close out of apps in the modern UI interface, you go straight back to the desktop. It makes it more user intuitive for keyboard and mouse users which make probably 9% of what uses Windows 8 or 8.1. We're going to use touchpad or you know touchpad and keyboard or mouse and keyboard as our primary means of use. I mean not everybody prefers to use the touch screen. I mean if it's a tablet I can understand but if it's got a keyboard and mouse just use a keyboard and mouse. So anyways here's one, one last look at that sad looking little dog. Anyways hope you enjoyed this video and learned about you know the updates that come with you know Windows 8.1. So anyways, hand the question or comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.